Happy Wednesday, friends. It's different not having our typical uh, happy hour, but we wanted to give you a chance to get outside. It's beautiful out there right now and to get creating. And that's the cool part about mobile devices is that we can take them with us. So all you need is a device with a camera <laughs> and then you need the outdoors or somewhere where you can go for a photo hunt. It might be your backyard. It may be a courtyard. I have the lake by me. That's where I went. I go to a park. Our theme tonight is all about rainbows. I love catching a rainbow that's created through reflections. Um, this month in June, we see a lot of rainbows for Pride Month. There's rainbows all around. As you're walking, make sure to snap those, but also we wanna see if we can find all the colors of the rainbow and make our own photo rainbow. Now I know my pictures are out of order, uh, and it's funny when you go for a walk, I love the yellow picture, but some of them were a little trickier. It was really hard to find a good red picture. So I can't wait to see what you find. Here are three tips to help you with your picture taking tonight. So just like in a story, we want our picture to be the main character. So one of the tools I use is a grid. And for tonight, we're just looking at the grid to help us balance. So check your camera settings, see if you can find the grid option. And when we go to take a picture, you're going to see that we have lines there that divide our picture up into nights three rows of three. That will allow me to really balance and make sure my subject is clear. The second tip is to zoom with your feet. I know you can zoom with the camera, but it's better to get up close. That will get you the best picture. So when you go find something really cool, get up close. Sometimes you look silly, that's okay. Uh, and tap on the screen when you're close so that it will focus. Because you're really close, sometimes uh, it needs that help to focus. When you tap to focus, you also get a sun. The sun will help you adjust the brightness of the picture or the exposure, how much sun comes in. And sometimes pictures don't come out perfectly the first time. So remember that you can edit any of your pictures. Um, different phones will have it in different places. Often I can crop so that I can um, have reshape my picture. I wanted squares because I want to put them together in a grid later. But in the dial, I can also look for exposure. If I didn't get it earlier, I can look for um, contrast, which is something I use a lot with colors so that the colors um, are contrasting. Uh, I don't try to go to the very top because then it looks really unnatural. The other one is saturation, so it will bump up the level of color in my photo. And see now my picture looks a little more reddish. Now hopefully you have a few pictures for each of the colors. Choose your favorite and bring them together in a photograph rainbow. So you could use an app like Picolage or an app like Layout. Uh, I'm going to share a little shortcut with an app called Shortcuts later in this thread. And make sure to send them on Twitter or Instagram with DigiArtBox so we can all see your masterpieces.